What up, y'all? Hey, hey, what's going on, fam? It's your boy, Cam. You know what I'm saying? How y'all feeling? Father, I just thank you for anyone who is um, uh, gonna listen to this, watch this. I just ask that your presence would just indwell each listener, uh, indwell their hearts, their minds, their bodies, their lives, and dwell any circumstances or problems or situations there they're in bring hope and healing encouragement insight and edification in your holy name we pray amen amen so i wanted to talk to you guys today about um finding hope in the words of christ finding hope in the word of god um you know we're going through different things you know i as a war veteran continue to face you know some challenges in regards to my mental health you know um war can can it can alter the way you see the world it can alter the way you see relationships war can you know if if it's if it's not addressed if it's not um, discussed the aftermath of being at war you know can sometimes stay with you for a while and what I want to tell you guys is you don't have to have gone to war to experience something traumatic but I will say if you find yourself getting quote unquote stuck in other words if you find yourself uh, dealing with something that you can't quite get past I highly recommend that you don't let it fester that you don't let it simmer marinate that you reach out for help God gives us doctors and psychologists and psychiatrists and counselors and therapists right uh, the word says that in Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge so that means that I believe that the psychological disciplines, the social sciences, all those existed in the mind of God before the foundation of the world. And I think, you know, doctors, psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, therapists, counselors, they're simply revealing or peeling back um, what God has already placed in existence. I don't think Carl Jung or uh, Sigmund Freud were the originators of psychology. I believe that Christ was. And so those tools, um, those people that he puts in place can be very beneficial for us. Ideally, I would say, uh, seek out a Christian counselor. There's so many. There's uh, wherever you live. I'm sure you can find some on psychology today. You can also... Um, find probably different uh, agencies who are online. There are a lot who take insurance nowadays. And also, if you go on psychology today, you can find uh, the types of insurances that different um, counselors will, will take. So again, I say, take your mental health seriously. Um, find comfort in God's word. The Psalms, you know, the Psalms are beautiful. The Psalms Describe every human condition, sorrow, joy, long suffering, patience. Uh, David and the other writers of the Psalms, uh, Asaph and a couple other people. Um, they write Psalms that represent the entire gamut of human existence. And many beautiful songs have been written by uh, worship artists based on the Psalms. Uh, I know Shane and Shane is a good group, for example. Um, They've wrote, written volumes of songs based on the Psalms. Also, there's the Psalter, you know. And so I, I just want to encourage you all. There's, there's beautiful, wonderful, many hymns, of course. We as Lutherans know um, lots of hymns. But I would say combine um, both psychology and theology, you know, in your, in your healing, in, in your journey. I don't think it has to be either or. I think it could be and both. That integration and um, that's something honestly I'm gonna dedicate a lot of my life and ministry to is uh, 
helping helping Christ's people, helping the body of Christ, you know, go further in the Lord and also further in their healing. You know, Isaiah 61, um, it's not even talking about repentance, but Isaiah 61 says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to proclaim the good news to the poor, to proclaim uh, sight to the to the blind and, and uh, healing for those, you know, who are um, who are feeling a spirit of heaviness. There's garments of praise or the joy and gladness instead of mourning beauty for ashes. Uh, and the Bible does talk about mending uh, broken hearts, especially in the Psalms. He missed the broken heart. He, he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds is what the Psalms say. And again, it's not even about repentance. But there's a, there's a, yes, we definitely, you know, we use that third, that third use of the law, right? Um, um, because God doesn't need our good works, but our neighbor does. So that's the purpose of sanctification. It's not for God, but for each other. Right. But there's an aspect of just, just healing from all the hurts that life brings our way. So, um, I want to say find hope and comfort in God's word and um, don't be ashamed to seek professional help. All right. Wittenberg Project at Wittenberg Show um, on Twitter at Wittenberg Cam. If you want to follow me, um, YouTube Wittenberg Project. Then there is. Um, um, there is. What else? I Man, we're on Patreon. We have a, a store on Zazzle. Um and we're also on facebook wittenberg project like our page subscribe to us on youtube and wittenbergproject.com is our website and i also i blog on there as well and then if you want to reach me with questions it's project wittenberg p-r-o-j uh w-i-t-t-e-n um b-e-r-g at gmail all right